Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, today I'm gonna show you what I'm getting my kids for Valentine's Day. If you don't already know, I have four kids who are older. So they are, the youngest is 13. That is my son, Evan. Then there is Alexa, who is 17 and my daughter Skylar, who is 21, and then my oldest daughter Taylor, who is turning 24 in March. But I still buy for them because I enjoy it and because I believe they enjoy it. And for Valentine's Day though, we don't go crazy. I just get them a few things to say we love them and just a little something extra for the day. When they were little, actually it started with just Taylor, when Taylor was little, I started this little thing where um, we did, at the dinner table, right beside her napkin, I had a little thing stuck there. It was like a little note. But what it was was the first step of a scavenger hunt. And so I always made them age appropriate. You know, sometimes it would be more in pictures. Sometimes it would just be super simplified. And I would read it to them. You know, because as each kid came along, we just continued this tradition. Sometimes they could work together or sometimes, you know, to try to find the next one. Sometimes they would actually compete. As soon as one of them figured it out, they ran to the next, you know, where they believed the next clue was. And it was always a lot of fun to watch. And they, they know it's a tradition. So now that my kids are older, it's whoever happens to be home. Sometimes Skylar's not home. Uh, Taylor, like I said, doesn't even live here. And so it's, you know, Evan and Alexa, 17 and 13, who are the most likely going to be the ones still doing it. I've done it a lot of different ways. We've done it with song lyrics. I've done it with rhymes. I've done it with uh, fill in the blank. I've done it really silly or more serious. But anyway, the joke of it is, is every time it always ends up in their room. It's always on their bed. They know that, but they still follow the clues. And then the last clue always leads them to their bed. So they could, if they didn't have fun with it, they could probably just shortcut it and just run them to the room. They know it's there, but they like the idea. And I like the idea of just having fun with all the clues and, and finding their way. So anyway, that's our tradition. If you have a specific tradition for Valentine's day, I hope that you will leave it in the comments. I would love to hear it. And hey, we're always taking suggestions uh, for for new things. Also, I just love to hear I just love to hear other people's traditions. You know how you celebrate with your kids or even with your husband. If you do enjoy this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I do all sorts of things on this channel, and I would love for you to join me. So um, I'm going to show you what I am getting my kids. So here are the bags of um, what I'm getting the four kids. I'll start with Evan, who is my son. He was 13. And I picked up these little trolley sweet and sour mashup hearts. Those were at Dollar Tree. This little um, candy bar, just solid chocolate. Happy Valentine's Day, I guess. I just thought that was hilarious. So that was at Dollar Tree. This little um, Roblox. Series 6. I think it's like a little figure inside. He likes anything like the blind bags or little blind boxes or whatever. That's sort of what this is. This is Silly Putty Buddies. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I got this. Then this was from Dollar Tree. It's um, Brain Busters card game. It's just trivia questions and it's based. this one's based on the environment. And then Godiva, this is chocolate, more chocolate. And as you can see down in there, just random candy. It's like uh, Airheads and Three Musketeers. And just a little bit of those in the bottom of there. In addition to this, he'll be getting a Roblox pass. It's like to have access to more things online to, for the Roblox game. And that is it for Evan. And he will be more than happy with all of this. Honestly, all he was hoping to get was the Roblox pass. <laughs> so all this other stuff is like an added bonus. Uh, this bag is for Alexa and she is 17. And I got her the little heart makeup sponges. And the little trolley heart mashups. Got her one of the chocolate bars too. That's a cute little puppy. 
also the Godiva chocolate. So far, everything there was Dollar Tree. This little um, notepad, it's like sticky notes, but they have a cute little heart. That was also Dollar Tree. This little um, rosy lips, it's Vaseline. That was also Dollar Tree. Then all the little candies down there. Airheads and um, Three Musketeers, just like Evan. And then I got her this mug, which is really, really cute. This was $2 at Dollar General. And I thought it was adorable. Then I got her this pen. This is a dollar at Dollar General. Very pretty and sparkly pen. And then another makeup sponge. Then this little, let's see. Then these socks, which, you know, her thing is donuts. So these were really, really cute. So, so sweet. Little heart sprinkles. And the last thing is... This is one of those um, sequin things that changes colors. You play around with it and it's a little keychain. And that's everything for Alexa. Oh, and also I forgot these bobby pins for Alexa too. I thought they were pretty. I think these were Dollar Tree or Dollar General. Next we have Skylar, who is my 21 year old daughter. And for her, I got one of the um, sparkly pens. It's a rose. I have heard these extreme airheads. She likes those. And then I got her some makeup sponges too. Dollar Tree. Got her these adorable socks. We have a beagle, if you don't know that already. And I thought those were super cute for her. And uh, those were Dollar Tree. Got her the Vaseline lip, um, rosy lips. Also a little heart notepad like we got Alexa. And I got her these hair clips and she's trying to grow her hair out because it was in a pixie cut and now she's growing it out. So I thought this is, her hair's really thick too. So I thought these would be really nice to um, hold her hair out of her face while it's growing out. And then the, another sponge, this was Dollar Tree. Last for Skylar, other than like her little candy, um, I just put a little bit of candy in there. She's trying to actually like watch right now. She's trying to eat healthier. So, um, but this container, she had a water bottle like this and left it somewhere on um, campus or at work and uh, has been really disappointed to not have it because she loves this water bottle. So I figured I would replace it for her as a little surprise. That is everything for Skylar. And now on to Taylor. And for her, I got the bobby pins. Hers are gold instead of silver. I got her this, um, it's a candle snuffer. She lights candles in her apartment. Oh, if I forgot to mention, Taylor is 24, well, almost 24, and she has her own apartment, her and her boyfriend. So I got her the candle snuffer, which I thought was pretty. I also got her the makeup sponges and the trolley candy. Uh, and then several of these candies like I had, um, like everybody else had, including the Godiva chocolate. And although I might put in some protein bars instead in both hers and Skylar's because they are both trying to watch now and eat healthier. So I might end up removing the chocolate and putting in protein bars. I'm going to have to think about what I think they'd like better. And there's those little candies there. Also got Taylor the Vaseline. And then I got her this mug, which I thought was adorable. Um, it says, look how cute this is. It says, love you tons. And it's these two little elephants. How adorable is that? This was also Dollar General. And um, she's always liked elephants ever since she was young. But I just thought that was so cute. So I got that for her. Got her the sparkly pink pen. The rose pen. And her socks are adorable. They say, be mine. And it's the avocado and the pit. <laughs> so that's super cute. Got her also the notepad with the heart and the other little makeup sponge. And then down in there's just a little bit more candy. And that is everything for Taylor. 
So yeah, that's what I got my kids. It's not a lot. It's just not a holiday we're willing to spend a ton of money on. But we do want to, um, you know, just let them know we love them. And um, I know there's lots of ways of doing that, but this is just one way we choose to do it on Valentine's Day. So if you did enjoy this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. And then hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video. So I hope this gave you some ideas, maybe what you would get your kids for Valentine's Day, your older kids. Like I said, leave in the comments what, how you celebrate. I'd love to hear it. Hope you're having a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye.